everybody hi friends and welcome to my channel again so today it's all about cooking so i'll be i'm, I'm making ayamashi i don't know if you know about it so i'll be taking you on the easy steps let's say four steps Four easy steps on how to make a very, very delicious ayamashe sauce. Trust me, you will like it. And let's get started. So the first step is prepare your ingredients, your meats, everything you want to use for yamashi. Prepare everything down. Let me show you what I'm using, what I'll be using for my ayamashe sauce. So, this is what I'm going to be using, if you can see. This is the egg, um, locust beans, um, my bell pepper, I grinded it not so watery, just grinded it and boiled it to reduce the water. Um, salt, um, Maggie, my usually they call it chicken broth, but this is meat broth because it is Omera in Nigeria, so meat broth, and that is my meat right here. Let me show you. This is my meat right here, meat right here. So I'm gonna use the palm oil right here. So I'm gonna use the palm oil right here to fried meat mm. so it is this palm oil you, so the oil i use the fried meat would have turned into bleached oil and then i'm gonna get started cooking so the first step is preparing i don't know if i should use crayfish let me use crayfish let me put it down here so this is my crayfish mm. i'm also using for it you can choose to use egg or not to use egg, but I love to have egg in my ayamashi sauce. What is ayamashi without egg? Tell me. No, you have to use egg. And so let's get started, started, started. I might not be talking in between, but I will talk when necessary. So let's get started with the cooking and part of me. I'm not using this anymore. Okay. Right now, I'm going to pour my palm oil into the pot. So I would say, let me show you the quantity of the palm oil. I don't know. Yeah. But right now I would say this is my first time of using the doing this method of bleaching the palm oil. Like using the palm oil to fry the meat. Usually what I do is I'll teach you a simple step of how I bleach my palm oil without um everywhere smoky, everywhere smelling, choking. I'll teach you the easy step. That is what I usually do. Because most of the time I do not fry my meat, I cook it like that. But right now I just want to fry the meat. And I've heard about using the palm oil to fry the meat. So that's gonna bleach the palm oil. So I'm trying this method today. And that is why I do I don't really know the quantity to use because I don't want the palm oil to be too much. And at the same time, I do not want the palm oil to be too little to fry the meat. But let's see how it goes. So I'm going to wait a little bit for it to get out a bit. 
and see. Let me get my It's getting hard a bit. I prepared this. This is where I'm gonna put my meat once it's fried. And pardon me, while it's eating hot, let me tell you the meat I use. So I use I, I like using kind of a salted meat. Pardon this. Mm. This is what I'm using at this time mm. for you to be able to see. Be um because I have just a, a smart um tripod. So this is what I'm using for a stand the noodles for you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm putting the tripod on the noodles. So pardon me. Mm. So I'm uh, I like using a certain a certain bit. Um this is commodity skin of the cow or goat whatever the skin beef shaki um art there's kidney to there there's then there's there's kidney right here there's um roundabout where is my roundabout oh uh, where are you you hiding Get out of here, my friend. But seriously, where are you? Oh, yeah. Then roundabout. So this is what I'm going to be using for. Okay, it's not heat up. I don't want it to be too hot. So let me go fry the meats. That is my the sound of my dryer. When the clothes they dry, it makes the sound like I'm sound. I don't know if you do that or if you do. That is the sound of my dryer. So now it smells. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know. So I'm frying it right now. Mm -hmm. Frying it. Mm -hmm. Gonna stay there for some minutes and start cooking. Mm -hmm. And the sauce. Thought about using a different frying pan to fry it, but hey, I was like, okay, I'm still gonna use that same oil. So why not use the pot I'm gonna use to cook it mm -hmm. to fry it? So once I scoop it out, then you know, I'll just pour the pepper into it. So this is the first step: is getting all your ingredients ready. And this is the second step, frying your meat, frying whatever you're using, shaki, whatever your meat, whatever you're using, frying it. Let's mm -hmm. a bit. Let's give it about mm, 10, 15 minutes of frying and we'll scoop it out. 
So the meat is done. And I'm scooping the meat out. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. I need to fry with my mommy. Please, messy. Messy, 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 messy. Yeah. So I'm scooping the meat out. I want it out. Fry the, the pepper. Look at the mess, babes. Don't look at the mess. Just concentrate on the end result. Yeah, what do you mean? So then put this down and do my thing. See me? I'm not sure. Oh, here go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looking good. Mm. This is my first time I'm using palm oil. I'm definitely gonna take the meat. The palm oil. I, I remember when I was in secondary school mm. using palm oil to fry plantain. Oh. Mm. Delicious. So now I'm left with no meat. So now let's see the inside. So get this still inside. Mm. So this time, this is the second step. I'm going to pour the. So I'm going to pour this one, the cooking pepper, the cooked beans, and the egg at the same time. Into it's a fire. I'm done with this thing. Tear it just let the pepper sit in there because if you stir it, it might start mm. in any mm. So I'm gonna position the eggs strategically <laughs> with brain, position the eggs separately there. Voila. Let's watch it cook fry for some minutes. Mm. Every now and then, just do like this. Mm. Do not stir it like this, like this, like this. It's sufficient. Mm. I hope the palmer is not too much. Mm. So, let it sit and fry. Fry, fry, fry. That's the job right now is to fry. Mm. But I can do this too. Mm. Ah, I want to taste it. Mm. I want to taste the really part. Okay, that is fine. Now, I'm going to have the ingredients sweets and I mean ingredient I'm talking about salt Maggie and crayfish mm. a little bit of salt mm. So 
So now I'm about to add in my beef um, what do I call it? Um, broth it. This is the beef broth I put it in the fridge. That is where it looks like this. Looking for a spoon to scoop it out. So whenever I'm sharing it, I just have to be careful, be mindful, because I should not break the egg inside. So I just have to be mindful of that. You just put all the meat in there. I was messy because of the popcorn. Okay. So I am look at it right now. So the first step, remember, prepare all your ingredients, everything you want to use. Second step is for you to for you to fry the meat, the palm oil. The third step is fry the pepper, the egg, and the locust beans. And once that is fried, fourth step is mm. pour heavy other thing inside mm. the meat, chicken broth, beef broth, whatever your maggi and stuff and keep stirring it reduce the yeah. so when it's too thick like this i like to have Water to it. Yeah, it should be too thick, except mm. if I use a lot of chicken broth. So, normally, I like to have water so it wouldn't be too thick. And that's it. Just a little water. Mm. Just a little water. Mm. And leave it to steam to cook for a bit. It's gonna be ready. We're done, babes. We're done. We made it. Can you see? The egg is changing color. Can you see? <laughs> well, let's leave it to cook for a bit. Where is my cover? Cover is hot too. Let's see. Is this a cover? No. Let me see right here. Yeah, this should be the cover. Use it a bit. And let's wait for about five, ten minutes to check it out. So, in the meantime, while we're waiting, I need to. I can see the palm oil. You know where you fry stuff and it keeps bubble, the bubbles keep coming out. I can see the palm oil on the floor. So let me wipe it. Use the mop. So do some justice to it. So do some justice to it. You can see right there. Yeah, right here. 
spotter here. Yeah. This is just it. Another spot right here. Just this is. <laughs> okay. Right. Da. So weird. Mm. It's cooking. Mm. So guys, while it's cooking, how do you think? What do you think of the ayamashi? It's right there. I'm gonna show you when it's done. And I need to reduce the light. Hi, hi. So. Keep staring. I don't want to get bumps. Let me test it. Now we almost done. We almost done. fingers crossed. We almost done. We almost done. We almost done. And I'm gonna snap in the picture. Of the half the friend, but let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you right quick. Can you see? Mm. So so yummy. Can you see right here? That is it. So I'll send you the picture. I'll show the picture of the after effect. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time. You spent with me going through the cooking and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need me to do more of it, to do the hot stuff. Okay. So I have another way of bleaching the oil. I'm going to show you in another video just with just with to bleach oil without alarms going on without smells choking without smoke in the house i'll show you everything i'll show you how i do it and it's gonna bleach 100 percent trust me so thank you for watching and i'll be cooking doing some more cooking on this channel as well showing you how i made some stuff fried rice fry my egg with pepper just show you how I make some stuff. Not that I'm a really fantastic cook, but I just like to make some, some kind of meals, you know. So, thank you for watching, and I'm sure you'll be right back on this channel. Do not disappoint me. Stay tuned if you see my videos. Please watch it. Subscribe, like, comment, and on this video, let me tell me how you make your ayamashi and tell me on a scale of 1 to 10 how you think the ayamashi is going to taste and you better don't say 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 you better say 10, 9, 10 if you say less by my god know your address and my god visit your address don't worry so jokes apart, just let me know 
on a scale of one to ten how you think it's gonna taste and how you think my video went on a scale of one to ten in terms of the preparation in terms of the cooking if you follow through if you like this method give it a thumbs up if you want to know more about different methods or you can also teach me your method i can if i see that it's something i can do i'll cook your method and give you a shout out based on your method that you taught me so comment down below let me know your method and the next one i'm gonna be cooking is mm, fried rice so let's see i'm gonna be cooking fried rice comment down below on this one and for you if you have a, a special method for fried rice Comment down below. Should we wait for the fried rice before you comment for the fried rice? Let's wait for the fried rice before you comment on the fried rice. I'm going to show you my method first. Then you comment down below. Let me know your method. And if I can do it, I'll cook it and give you a shout out based on your method. Let's go. Love you guys and stay tuned and be safe out there. Love you. Bye-bye. So, this is it video